Yo guys, what's up? I'm Mega back with another video or your own call. Before I start the video off, I want to show you guys my sponsor, you could say, or just some advertisement for this video. I was actually reached out by a company called Play Vital, and they wanted to do a review on one of their products. And they asked me what I wanted to choose, and I chose the grips for the PS5 controller. They also work semi well on the PS4 controllers and such, but I rather use them on the PS5 controller. They also have ones for the Xbox controls and stuff like that. The colors that I chose were wine, wine red, black, and white, because you know those those are the sickest colors. You know they have a lot of colors and a lot of varieties of stuff too. If you see in the top right of the screen right there, it'll show you all the things you can get. They also sell stickers, decals for whatever it can be, headsets, controllers, Xbox console, PS5 consoles, and you should be able to put them on the PS5 remotes and the new PS5 3D, or uh, yeah, like 3D headset, I think it's called. <laughs> but as you can see on the screen right here, I'm just showing you what they look like, and I grabbed my PS5 controller. This one right here, this is the white. The white one, personally, it's a really nice color, but doesn't just speak up to the black one. The black one got the black Air Force energies, if I do say so. The wine red is also a really nice color. I like it a lot. The grips themselves also feel really well. The joysticks are also very nice. They feel well, the controller, a bit difficult to get on at first. Once you get the hang of it, very simple. They come in different sizes and shapes like that are imprinted on them. I like the swirl ones and also the ones with the dotted outlines on them because those feel the nicest. I got only the black and white ones, but I think they do have other colors for them as well. They also come in different sizes. The actual grips themselves for the controllers do feel nice on both the front and the back and are flexible and stretchy. They do have a nice pattern to them as well, so we can easily press all the buttons on the controllers including the touchpad. All in all, they're super cheap, well made, and good products to buy. I do suggest them a lot. They felt really nice, and I do use them in this video. Hope you guys do enjoy, peace out, bye bye. Play Russ, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Truth is, Russ, this isn't fun sometimes. No matter how hard you try, you always die in the end. You lose everything after the wipe. You can only succeed. Those are the best two options, if I had to say so. One, playing Rust. If you got a nice base, you're gonna win. But, numbers always win as well. Even with the most skilled player, it doesn't matter. You're probably wondering, where does this story start? It doesn't start in the beach. Well, it does. But, story all started when I was getting a message from a friend saying you want me to join for a raid. So, I load into the server, and I went over there. I think of me an AK and some ammo for it. We head over to the base, and you know the base wasn't too big. <laughs> it wasn't very much, not better than my bases, but I could definitely tell it was well guarded. Two gates, actually a third one on the inside, and two bases, one gigantic and one more of a bunker type. I could tell they had a lot of traps in their base set up, considering I almost got roasted alive. <laughs> This one, this plane turned good. I was very cautious of running into traps after that. The bunker base was pretty good. They put a octagon kind of shape. I said hexagon. I said hexagon for absolutely no reason. I don't know why. Don't judge me. I did shapes in class. Anyway, they had a lot of stuff. There was stats. You could make many rockets with these. And they already had the blueprinted, as well as they had four rocket launchers ready for the raid. My part wasn't doing anything special. I was on guard duty. The reason why I got invited, I was just good at being guard. After fully getting settled in, I was shown to my room, or rather, my base. I don't know where they got it from. They just said they built it one day, for no reason. 
It was quite big, pretty useful. But not much room. Where's the base? What are you talking about? After everyone was fully prepared, we headed to the base. I was actually put on flamethrower duty at the last minute because no one else wanted to. So, I picked the flamethrower and went over. Luckily, they weren't at the base at the time, so it was basically an offline raid. I don't know how many players they had in their team, beds, but beds, beds. it was quite a bit. It seems like they were actually at Shootnook at the moment, so we had a pretty good chance of just getting in there easy in now. Yo, med syringes for days. It was a lot of med syringes. We knew TC was right behind this door. All we had to do was just get in it. Shocker trap! Why is it always the shocker trap, man? TC's also there. Yo, back up, back up, back up! Grenade in the floor! Grenade in the floor! They died inside. I'm just, I'm still alive. I saw it fall on the floor. as well. Yo. Jackpot. This is exactly what we were looking for. Yo, yo, come bunch here. of sulfur, come bunch come of gunpowder, and high quality. Yo, yo, check out this this was a big successful rig. So you got everything I carry, I just started heading back to the base so I can depot and then kill myself. While at it, killing anybody in my path to sit in my way, even if they were naked. Yeah, 
Yeah, I deep one. After deep one, I killed myself and respawned the bag at place at the base. No, it has AK left. Yeah, I didn't need a shame. Oh, I forgot to hit cord. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, not kidding. When making it back to base, I put the rest of the stuff in the chest. And uh, I got off in the night, really. It was getting pretty late, it was like 3 a.m. in the morning, I think. So, I don't know why I keep staying up so late for these. I need to fix my sleep schedule. But anyway, it was a pretty successful raid. We oh, made a lot of profit back, including the gunpowder and stuff. Hope you guys did enjoy. Peace out. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Or at least, that's what I like to say. See, there was actually one thing I forgot to mention. This is a whole nother story to this video. And I haven't even gotten into it yet. It wasn't just a raid and then that was it. No, 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 no. It was two raids. And let me tell you, the second one, way more interesting. Hope you enjoy. See, this all starts when my friend told me that there was a group that's been bothering him this whole entire way. A guy named Boss DeVito and his goons. That's what we'll call them for now. Anyway, we decided to head over to the base, and I was trying to build into the compound, but obviously it wasn't working. So, I heard a noise starting to come from the gate, so I rushed around the building to see if I could do something about it. Got them all! I got them all! I got them all! Bro, I can't! There's too much loot! I can't carry it all! Here. Here, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yo, just guard me. I'll, I'll, I'll grab their crap. I'm almost there. Just guard me. Is their gate open? No, the gate yeah, is not we... open. Where are they? Where are they dead at? Another AK, another AK? Are we leaving or are we gonna still camp? No, what? They're, they're back. I got my stuff back. Yo, someone took my AK off my body. I have a... Uh... Okay, I'll try. Yo, yo, should I go back to the sashes? Thank goodness my team was able ah, to clutch it up and me. save me right there, because I was probably six? carrying the most loot out of all of us, and... Bro, I knocked down all it. three of them, bro. So... Thank goodness for teammates. So we made it back to our bags, we hid it in the stashes we placed around this rock. We decided to go back for a little bit more. <laughs> By a little bit more, I mean I was trying to just climb over the walls with the ladder. And as you can tell from this scene, it was not working in my favor. I don't have to make sure they don't push up. They're ready on, ready on Bro, the Bro, how is this not working? Now this part right here, this is actually the last part of the video basically because my audio and the video clip crashed as we were raiding this base. But to give you a summary, we basically went over there in a boat and we started raiding. We broke down two of the walls, hikes and old stone walls, and, we, and by this point in the story. We already basically got everything we wanted and there wasn't really much left. I'm really sad that I couldn't even show you guys that part. It was really cool too, so much explosions going on, you know, a lot of funny commentary. But that's completely my fault, you know, I just didn't, I forgot to uh, record on my computer as well. I should have been recording on my computer from the start. But I'll just leave it like this, and I hope you guys enjoy the last couple parts that we have of this video. After getting most stuff from this raid, we decided to go onto the boat, head back, depot, and go there one more time.
Now this is actually the part of the video where it's going to take a while for us to get there. You know, I saw I just kind of skimmed through this really. But anyway, I just wanted to say real quick that if you guys are interested in the play vital grips and stuff, click the links in below in the description and go check them out. Also, if you enjoyed this video so far, please do like and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. Enjoy the rest of the video. So that, that was the last time we actually went over there and we started heading on the way back to base. But, you know, Leo, our friend disconnected in the middle of the ocean and his body fell to the deepest part of it, basically. And we were looking for it the whole time. We could just not find it. Literally, I think at one point, as we were about to give up, we ended up finding it. And uh, it was just too hard to get. We had a swimming gear and everything, and then my friend was like, I can't do it, I'm gonna drop you it. And then I, I tried to put it on, um, but as soon as he dropped it, it fell right out of the boat, sank to the bottom of the ocean. There was no way we were gonna be able to get it after that happened. And we knew by the time we figured out where it was next time, it'd already be gone. So we ended up just giving up on that and went with what we already had. But yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Peace out, bye bye.